Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today for Masking Monday, we are taking a look at a pretty wild mask. And the mask that we're looking at today is by Mask Bar, and I opened it, so this might get messy if I flip it, but I'm like trying to hold it together. I hope you saw that. Um, and so this is their gold foil peel off mask. Now, this mask contains raspberry fruit extract, macadamia ternifolia seed oil, grapefruit extract. I read a couple reviews online before I started this video, and the ingredients aren't looking like they're something you want to look at if you care what's in your product. Does that sound bad? It just sounded like there was like some alcohol and some other things in here that can be really drying. Um, even though the reason why I actually chose this mask in the first place is because on the back, I'm gonna pull the mask out of this, so it's like a little pod actually that fits into this cardboard and then you're left with this like little display thing. But anyways, on the back it says, Mask Bar Gold Foil Peel Off Mask is enriched with fruit extracts to help moisturize and revitalize your skin. So right now my skin's really dry because I did a peel a couple days ago, so I thought today would be a really good day to do something that's moisturizing and revitalizing. And I'm hoping that the peel motion of this helps to just slough off some like dead skin that I have here. Also my cheeks I know are super rosy today. It's because I use these eye patch gel things and I don't think my face really likes them, hence why I got these cute little cheeks right now. Also, my house is so hot, so that's probably adding to it as well. I'm not wearing makeup apart from mascara just because I wanted to look like semi-awake for this video, but other than that, clean as, clean as a whistle. All right, so directions for this mask are as follow. Um, apply a thick layer to your face, wait 15 to 20 minutes, and then peel off um, outside inwards in a downward motion. I don't really know why you would do it in a downward motion, but um, yeah. This literally just looks like liquid gold. Like I've never really, seen, well I have seen liquid gold, but this looks like fun liquid gold. Ooh, that is pretty thick. All right, let's, uh, let's go for this. Okay, so this kind of smells like hairspray to me, like Tresemme hairspray. I don't love when my products are fragranced just because then, you know, there's more synthetic stuff in them. Well, if they have like that unnatural smell. The smell is really bothering me because I'm worried that my face is gonna get irritated. But it's pretty. I feel like Sailor Moon right now. See like Jupiter. I'm gonna just stay away from these like redder patches just because like common sense. So that is me with this mask on. It is all over my fingers. I am gonna go wash my hands and relax for 15 to 20 minutes and then we will peel this off. Right now, this feels really cool on my face. It does feel like there's a little bit of heat underneath, but it's really, really mild. It smells, like I said, like a really like fragrance shampoo. So if fragrance bothers you, this is gonna drive you probably crazy. It does smell good, it's just a lot. And it does kind of like drip down your face, but I guess the point of applying a thick layer is so that it's easier to remove. See you in 20 minutes. You guys, I just realized that I totally look like one of those street performers on um, like Rodeo Drive or Times Square that like dresses all up in gold or silver and like acts like a robot. It's kind of what I feel like right now. Ooh, hello. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. Okay, so it's now been about uh, 20 minutes and as you can see when I wink on my face, the mask wrinkles with it. It doesn't feel tight dry, it just feels dry like when I touch it, it's not wet. I tried to reinforce the edges of this mask so this would be easier. Oh, and it looks like it just might be. Okay, so whew, there's definitely still some stuff on my face. 
So I guess this mask wasn't fully dry, so maybe don't apply as thick of a layer as I did. Um, so I'm gonna go wash this off. Did come off quite well in one piece. Like I thought it was gonna be much more difficult than that. Um, also, my skin doesn't feel dry, which is really nice, actually. So my biggest area of concern with this mask is that it was going to irritate my skin, just because it was already kind of irritated. But surprisingly, it didn't, other than kind of like just around my nose, like on this one side. Um, my skin seems pretty chill about this mask, which is nice, especially after reading the reviews that kind of went into detail about the drying ingredients inside this mask. I was a little bit worried. But right now, my skin feels nice and calm. And it actually feels quite nice. The only thing is, like, I still definitely need a cream, regardless of how dry my skin was before doing that mask. But it is really, really soft. I did have some skin here that I did remove. That sounds so gross, but it's true. Um, and it did take away a little bit of that redness around my eyes. So I'm pretty happy with that for, like, what, three bucks? Uh, not bad. The only thing is, I'm not really sure this is one of those masks that you would like incorporate into your routine all the time. I feel like this is just kind of more so one of those masks that you do with your girlfriends on like a night in when you just want to chill and have wine and watch TV and eat popcorn. It's kind of one of those ones, not a... Uh not like a real skincare mask. That is today's mask. My face does kind of feel tight there when I want to smile. But anyways, I will see you guys later. I hope you like this video. If you like it, like it down below. If you like this channel, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and um, have a great day. Bye.